Today I'm going to use my CNC to make some concrete forms. I'm going to carve the forms out of 3 quarter inch thick plywood. Now because I'm going to cut all the way through the pieces, I'm actually going to screw the top piece to a bottom spoil board. The 3D carving machine I'm using is called the X-Carve by Inventables. You can click on the link to learn more about it. I drew the design in Illustrator and then imported it into Inventable software, which is called Easel. It's free and really easy to use. I left tabs that actually hold the pieces in place even though most of it's cut through. This keeps the pieces from sliding around and bumping into the blade. I used my Japanese handsaw to cut through these tabs. I then glued three of the plywood pieces together using wood glue and sanded the form smooth. I want to be able to reuse the form, so I coated it with two coats of polyurethane to make it nice and waterproof. I'm going to test the form out by making a concrete footpath. The form is very similar to the ones that Quickcrete makes, which are called the Walkmaker. You can learn more about the Walkmaker products by clicking on the link here. Each form uses about one bag of Quickcrete 5000, and I could keep expanding these forms to make either a path or even an entire patio. It's important to keep the concrete moist for the first few days while it's curing. Once the concrete is fully cured, you can stain it with a penetrating stain. With a design like this and different options for stains, you could make all sorts of cool patterns. For more detailed instructions, check out my website and be sure to follow me on Instagram so you can see what I'm working on next. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks. Bye.